So Andy, please tell me what the big deal is with this new product. Well, the XFS G1 is the latest member of the XFS family of production switches. Um, it's innovative new design, um, compact production switcher, but we've packed a lot more processing inside the small production unit. Okay, so it's not exactly the same as the previous XVS switcher series. So, can you tell me who it's intended for? Uh, very good question. Um, but it's basically an all-rounder. It's suitable for many production genres. Small, powerful production, lightweight concept, um, flyaways would be perfect. Anything of small productions. Okay, so now I know that the internal architecture is different. It uses three different technologies. Uh, that we use for different purposes. Perhaps you could explain what those technologies are and how they're used in the G1. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, the three core uh, technologies inside the switcher, we have an FPGA, and that is used for the uh, key ME processing. Uh, it's low latency, high quality video processing for the quality that Sony is renowned for. The second technology is the CPU. Again, um, any switcher needs a CPU for the control system. We've enhanced our control here to make collaborative production possible as well as remote networking productions. The third new technology inside the switcher is a GPU. So we've added a GPU inside the box to give you more power for some of the more advanced processing techniques required. Okay, so I'd like to know a little bit more, more about the details. Could you tell me, before I add any options, can you tell me what I get in the switcher as standard? Start with HD? Well, in HD operation, um, all units are HD as standard. Uh, we have got 24 inputs and 12 outputs as standard. And in terms of mix effects power, uh, we've got up to four MEs. You can, you can split the MEs how you want to, but we have up to four mix effects buses uh, with a total of 16 high quality keyers. And these keyers include uh, resize on every keyer, chroma key, uh, and the resizer can do rotation and um, perspective borders and things like that. Um, in addition to these, uh, the 16 keyers, there's uh, also a clip transition keyer per ME bus as well to do um, your animated wipe transitions, which are very popular uh, for programs these days. Um, if that's not enough, the frame memory system is now also standard inside this unit with uh, RAM storage for thousands or about a thousand odd images and then backup onto static drive and 16 outputs for use in your programs. Okay, sounds quite powerful. So to summarize, 20 keys in high definition, four mm -hmm. mix effects, mm -hmm. 24 in, 12 Correct. out as standard, yeah. yep. image and clip replay as standard. Correct. That's a really powerful HD okay. switcher. What about UHD? Well, it's, it's totally it's possible to work in UHD as well. It's a software license to go into UHD mode. Once it's, it's unlocked, you can then go between HD or UHD. And in UHD mode, Again, we can do 24 inputs and 12 outputs. Um, we then have two mix effects buses and a total of four high quality keys with the ro rotation, uh, resizes, perspectives and borders and things like that on the keys as well. Okay. Plus, again, sorry, the, also the animated clip transitions as well on top um, of that and okay. the frame memories. So it's hugely powerful in UHD as well. Of course. And that's before we get to options. Oh yes. So <laughs> perhaps you can tell me a little bit about the options available. Yeah. There are limited options on this. Most things come as standard, but in HD mode, we can increase the I.O. to go up to 44 inputs and 24 outputs. Um, another uh, one of the options we can do is a software license to enable high dynamic range conversion. It provides input conversion and out conversion, output conversion to integrate uh, standard dynamic range content into high dynamic range production um, as, as need be. That's a license. The other, the big option, however, is the GPU, as I mentioned, it's uh, one of the internal processing blocks. Um, by purchasing the GPU, we can then put three additional software licenses on that. The first one is for a clip player. The clip player provides four additional uh, clip stores inside the unit for playback of um, short video sequences. In fact, each sequence can be up to one hour's duration, and there are four playbacks of those. The second license with the uh, uh, GPU is the uh, some additional keyers. So if the uh, 16 in HD or the 4 in UHD keyers are not enough, we can add another 4 keyers in either mode for graphics keyers and logo insertion and plus like that. And they still have got re resizes on them. And the last option for the GPU is the 3D DVE option. So now the DVE has gone into a GPU to give hopefully some more creative effects um, and we've got a, the, GPU, the GPU providing the DVE option as well. So, sounds like it's got an awful lot of power. 
from an operator's perspective, what's it like to drive? Well, as you can see, I mean, it's very similar to the XPS of today. So any operator who's familiar with the XPS will be able to uh, instantly feel at home with that. Might be a little bit of retraining for some of the newer features, but it's basically very similar. What has changed a bit is the menu. We've now gone to a web-based menu, um, with a very graphical environment. Uh, we can have up to 16 web-based menus connected at any one time for collaborative production, so people can um, join from any point, in fact, any point in the world, as long as they've got an internet connection. Um, so we've made the networking of the, the ability of the switcher even greater. However, um, it's a familiar operation, but we've also simplified it in a way. So we've made it quite easy for an inexperienced operator to instantly uh, start creating power, uh, pro visually enhanced programs uh, using the new menu. Okay, so let's summarize. Uh, in high definition, it's a massively powerful switcher. Mm -hmm. Ultra high definition, it's a massively powerful of course, switcher. Yeah. It's got a new open and collaborative control system. Correct. And with the GPU option, it's got enough creative power to wow most audiences, if not all. Of course. So um, what happens if I need a little help? Well, like any Sony switcher purchase, this is covered by two years of prime support. So you need to register your product, but then you get two years of telephone help desk um, as standard. Uh, in addition to that, we can also provide uh, assistance for setup, maintenance and training all, all as, as required.